A question I get asked quite a lot is about air particle abrasion or APA. And it's an interesting topic because I've been involved with air particle abrasion for nearly two decades now. But I think it was easier um, a few years ago because there weren't many products around. Now I find that dentists are constantly asking me about what is available now because they're a little bit confused. So what I'm going to do is take you through three types of air particle abrasion unit and I'm going to take you through two different types of particle so you know essentially what you are buying at the end of the day and why you're buying it and really just relating to what your budget is as well. I think the first thing to think about is what, why air particle abrasion? Well, it's been a mainstay of my clinical practice for nearly 20 years. Those of you who have looked at the BioClear system, you'll, you'll see that it is an absolutely essential protocol in the BioClear system, but it's an absolutely essential protocol in techniques like fissure sealants to blast the sealants out. And it's also crucial for your indirect restorations. So your veneers, your crowns, your inlays, your onlays. And what does particle abrasion do? It basically blasts away all the rubbish. So just think about it as sort of jet washing the car, jet washing the patio, getting rid of all that rubbish. And why did I get into it uh, many years ago? Very much because the studies actually showed much higher bond strengths. First of all, with direct restorations, but also with indirect restorations as well. So it, it's just a crucial part of bonding protocols, be it composite, ceramic, metal, whatever. It's an, it's an integral part of that bonding process. And what's been pleasing as well is that certainly within the last four or five years, everybody's kind of jumped on that APA bandwagon. Now, I've been lecturing on it for nearly 20 years, but it's very good now that everybody's getting into it. So let me go through the blasters that can deliver the particles and let's talk about the particles. So the simplest way to get into it and the cheapest way is a unit such as this. And the product I currently recommend is an air particle abrasion unit um, from Prestige Dental. This is very simple. It fits on your airline and all you need occasionally is a coupling for it. If you go through Optident and order this, then this is your, your basically, I, I would say, budget entry level, but not inferior, just a very cost effective way to get into air particle abrasion. You go through Optident for it, and the beauty of Optident is occasionally you'll need a coupling to go onto your chair. And what Optident will do is be able to source you the right coupling for it. The one little bit that people get confused about is, well, what particles do I put in here? And if you're going to use it dry, it's aluminium oxide. And so you can see the particle range here is approximately 50 microns. So you want something about 30, 40, up to 70, 80 microns. And the aluminium oxide, which goes in this unit here, has to be used dry. And that's all you need to think about. What is your other option? Your other option is aluminium trihyoxide. That has to be used wet. And the system that I recommend that that goes into is the BioClear Blaster. Now, the problem with the BioClear Blaster is purely cost. The BioClear Blaster is substantially more expensive than the one you get through Optident. The BioClear Blaster and a blaster actually similar to this, you can go through Optident for that. So if you go to the Optident website, that is all on the Optident website. But that works with a wet system and that works with aluminium trihyoxide. This works with aluminium oxide. What's the difference? This is slightly more abrasive. 
but not to the point where clinically that is a consideration because I've used both systems. I actually, in my surgery, have this on the chair and I basically use this system essentially because it's what something I've used for many years, a system like this, and it works absolutely fine for me. So don't get hung up on the fact that this is a little bit more abrasive than that. The difference is negligible. Okay, So it really comes down to budget. And so low cost option, higher cost option, and by no means is that to be considered an inferior option. The other unit that we have at the Teaching Institute here is the Aquacare unit. And the Aquacare unit, as you can see, is a, is a more complex unit, but it is a more versatile unit. So with the Aquacare unit here, that will actually perform a range of functions for you. You click in on here, whichever pod of material you want to put on. So you can click in an aluminium oxide pod and that works for air particle abrasion. The Aquacare is actually more versatile than that and there is a sink particle that you can spray onto the teeth that you can use for dentine sensitivity. So it's called the sink particle and it blocks up the tubules and that works very well for dentine sensitivity. It will also with a sodium bicarbonate type particle, it will also do air polishing for you. Because these units are not really designed for air polishing, they're designed for air particle abrasion. So you can do air polishing with that. And then finally, what's very useful with it is you can adjust the pressure on this. So you can use it for basically for care is removal and you can adjust it so that the settings are for different levels of caries. So you can clear the peripheral caries, but for the deeper caries, you can use that to remove the softer caries, but leave a degree of caries there that we would be confident to bond over. So I think that just about covers air particle abrasion, and I think it covers the particles as well, but all three systems are absolutely fine. It just depends what you have available in the practice because you may have one of these already available and it depends what your budget is as well. But don't consider any of these better than any other or unfavorable. They're just different ways of delivering the particles. So I, I hope that helps you with your clinical decision making.